Can MS be cured 100%? Is there a permanent solution for the demyelinating disease, multiple sclerosis? Hey guys, Dr. Neem Sadiq with you again today I'm going to talk about a demyelinating disease of the central nervous system known as multiple sclerosis also known as MS. Now this is a disease which affects so many people all over the world for which there has not been a permanent solution as of now. Billions of dollars are being spent to find a permanent remedy starting from the days of steroids to interferon, copolymer, glatiamer, rituximab, you name the drug. These are being tried, but then we have had limited success. What is the cause of this disease? So far, we are not 100% certain as to why people suffer from MS. Why does the brain and the nervous system get affected? But then the consensus is that it is an autoimmune disease. By autoimmune, the cells of the body are attacking yourself. You know, your cells are attacking your own cells. It is not an infection from outside. It is not a virus which is affecting you. It is not a bacteria which is affecting you, but your own cells are attacking the central nervous system. That is the brain and the spinal cord. Then we get what is known as multiple sclerosis. Now the symptoms of multiple sclerosis are varied. They don't have a fixed pattern. It can present as just simple vertigo, which people can say, you know, it's because of low BP, it's because of lack of sleep or whatever. It can present as sudden loss of vision in one eye or both the eyes. It can present as difficulty in speaking, slurring of speech or inability to speak clearly, which may, which may happen for a short while and then the patient might feel better. The patients may have weakness in one or all the four limbs or two limbs or three limbs or whatever. You may have imbalance or there are a lot of patients who present with just simple episodes of headache, which could be a non-specific headache or fatigue. Severe weakness, you know, you get up in the morning, you're fine, but then walking a little distance, climbing a few stairs, a person starts feeling tired. So these, these are some of the symptoms, you know, it, it, it has been described as a great masquerader. It, it does not follow a specific pattern like Parkinson's disease or a stroke or a motor neuron disease. A patient may present with any neurological symptom which has to be investigated. The cause I have told you, it, you know, it is autoimmune. Now, what is the mechanism? I'm going to talk to you about that. Right guys, so what is demyelination? Now to explain to you the heavy sounding word demyelination, I want to show you the structure of a neuron. What's a neuron? That is the basic cell of the central nervous system. Now here is a neuron. This, this is the structure of a neuron. Now there's a body of the neuron and this is the tail which is known as the axon. Now, if you observe here, you have the central thing here, which is similar to the copper filaments which you find in a wire. And the pink or the maroon color here, this is known as a myelin sheath. Now, if you, if you take a wire, okay, now you see a wire here, the rubber filament on top and inside is the copper filament, the, the rubber tubing which encases the copper wire. That's exactly how the neuron is made. You have the axon which is covered by a myelin sheath. Now, if this myelin sheath is normal, then the conduction takes place normally. The brain wants to do something, then the body follows. I want to speak something, the words come. I want to move my hand. I want to feel the sensation. All this happens with this normal condi uh, conduction. Now, this is the structure of a demyelinating neuron. Now you can see here the myelin sheath is eroded. You can see here, you can see this is a normal one. This is a myelin sheath where the, you can see the breaks here. There's a break here, there's a break here, there's a break here. 
So what happens when the conduction happens? It does not happen the way it is normally supposed to happen. So something something similar to make you understand very simple language like a short circuit. So the patient, the, the brain is giving the signal. The person should move his hand or the person should speak or the person, person should see or smell or whatever. But that particular function is not being executed because the transmission is not complete. Right. Now that we know the demyelinating neuron, we know the symptoms of MS, we know why it happens. Okay, now the presentation might be different in different people. You know, like, like I was mentioning earlier, if somebody might just get one episode of symptoms, one episode of severe vertigo, one episode of severe imbalance or weakness, which improves in about a day or a week or a month or whatsoever in a short period of time. And the patient comes back to his baseline, his normal status. So there was a relapse and then the patient remitted. Okay, Or at times the patient may have symptoms and then it may continue. The patient may never improve. Or the third one, the patient may get symptoms, improve, get symptoms, improve, you know, can keep getting relapses. So based on the way it presents, MS is classified into several types. I don't want to go into the details of this. Now that when you have MS, what is the type of treatment? What should be done? And what do we do here at Plexus? Well, one, MS needs a holistic treatment. You know, once diagnosed, once you have confirmed the diagnosis by using an MRI, by using the CSF analysis, the visual evoked responses, all the diagnostic tools, the clinical presentation, everything. Once you know this, XYZ patient is suffering from MS, the treatment should be initiated ASAP as soon as possible. One, to get him, get the patient recovery, to deactivate the lesions, to reduce the number of lesions, to prevent further new lesions from forming. There are several drugs available at the moment, various drugs have been tried, but here at Plexus, we do a complete holistic program, including stem cell injection, including complete customized rehabilitation, and also planning treatment for the psyche, the mind, the emotional problems, taking care of the fatigue, taking care of the physical symptoms, and taking care of the demyelinating lesions which are active in the brain. For further details, you can visit our website, you can mail me, you can call me, you can WhatsApp me, or you can just come over. I'm here to help you as much as possible. But yes, don't neglect the symptoms. Get yourself examined, get yourself investigated and have a diagnosis confirmed. Thank you. Bye-bye.